Hello everybody, Balian here today, going to be bringing you a very special video taking a look at the top 10 Skyrim combat mods that are available to you and putting your game in 2020. If you like what you see in this video or have any questions, you can come find me every day at twitch.tv slash Balian. Kicking things off on this list is the stalwartly popular dodge mod, TK Dodge. TK Dodge allows you to very simply hit a hotkey and smoothly evade out of the way of an incoming strike. What the mod actually does is add an invulnerability window for a split second, activate an animation and move your player in whatever direction you gesture. When combined together, these three things help to create a very well executed depiction of what your character would look like when moving and dodging out of the way of a strike. Once mastered, this system becomes very versatile and almost second nature and no longer will you get frustrated backpedaling when an orc brings his hammer down straight towards you. Now you can simply TK dodge. The mod has a configurable stamina cost so you can adjust it to your liking as well as a slight ability to tweak the unvariability window. It fits in perfectly with any other perk and gameplay overhauls such as Requiem or Ordinator and can be used in either first or third person with a choice between rolling or a simple sidestep. Attack Commitment is a revolutionary mod in the way Skyrim combat performs, behaves and feels. It is incredibly simple in its principle and yet helps change Skyrim combat in a vast way you have to take a few hours to adjust to this new experience. In simple terms, Attack Commitment prevents you and NPCs from turning after you've swung your sword, axe or mace. From the player's perspective, once you swing your weapon your camera becomes locked and you're unable to rotate on the spot to change the angle of your attack or redirect the weapon's path. This means that you must line up your strikes before you swing, predict where the enemy will move to or either use their miss to land counter shots. As much as it affects you, it has an even greater effect on enemy NPCs and how combat with them feels. They will no longer auto lock onto your character as you sidestep out the way. Power attacks will not track you as you move either. If an enemy loads up for a big swing, you're able to sidestep or move out of range and they will not be able to follow you as you have previously moved. It makes combat feel a lot more skill based as you must be careful with each swing you make and a miss could leave you open to a counter strike, but you are also able to evade and land your own attacks a lot easier. It's a subtle change and might take a few hours to get used to, but after that you will truly feel you have a new, more nuanced combat system to master. Mortal Enemies is also another mod that goes a long way to helping combat feel a lot more realistic and to help you feel less cheated at times. Mortal Enemies addresses the fast turn rate of most creatures and NPCs in the game and stops them from being able to track you as quickly and as accurately in combat. It also reduces the attack cone of these NPCs so you'll no longer get hit when you feel like the attack should have missed. Each individual creature and enemy type has been hand tweaked down to the attack patterns of the Draugr and Wolves. You will also feel a lot more justified to land hits and avoid hits in combat. A lot of Skyrim arcade and vanilla -like combat will dissipate as combat is now based on who can get hit and avoid getting hit rather than who can land the most strikes. The Combat Gameplay Overhaul or CGO is a robust new mod that aims to implement many new features and functions into the world of Skyrim and to give you more control over your combat options. Some of the things this mod changes are grip switching between one and two handed weapons, dual wielding two two-handed weapons, casting magic whilst wielding two-handed weapons, jumping attacks with spells and arrows, rolling mechanics, sweeping AoE attacks and a few more. Many can be switched on or off and tweaked to your liking, but I've found that it does, at least for me, improve the flow of combat. I'm able to play a two-handed mage or paladin and cast magic freely without having to equip and redraw my weapon. It takes some getting used to, but it really does make several types of Skyrim character build easier to play and less of a headache and fuss to navigate. I don't use the dodge system personally or a few of the other changes, but the grip switching alone is enough for this mod to make the list. Realistic Weapon Ranges does exactly what it says on the tin and is a must have for me in my load order when talking about combat mods. So many different overhauls try to fix this and get it right and they just don't seem to come anywhere close to what this simple mod has achieved. It changes the ranges of each individual weapon to better represent its actual weapon arc and curve. I mainly have this mod when I'm trying to dodge and evade attacks. I always feel I'm out of the range of the weapon but still get hit anyway. This mod changes and fixes that so when I feel like I've actually moved out of the way, I have. The Weapon Parry Standalone mod is a mod I've covered briefly in another video but it is a fantastic mod that helps change up the way combat feels and plays. 
the mod simply adds the functionality to block while swinging your weapon in combat. When two people clash weapons, it will turn it into a block. It is a nice subtle feature that ensures blocks and parries at times that feel natural and change up the pacing and flow of combat. It is simple, it's rather old, but has no other mod that has managed to produce this small feature that really adds some flavour to combat encounters, so it makes the list. Although a role-playing overhaul that seeks to change nearly all of Skyrim's mechanics, I could not not add Requiem to this list. One of the main reasons many people still play Old Rim and not Special Edition is for Requiem and a big part of that is how the combat is handled. Requiem seeks to add weight and consequence to each weapon and each swing. Attacks are slower, feel heavier and cost a lot more stamina. The less stamina you have, the less damage your attacks will do and the more damage you will take. You will also move slower and attack slower, so stamina management is key. Armor values and weapon damage values are all overhauled and changed, as well as a new system that calculates weapon type and armor penetration value and applies this against armor values of gear and items. In Requiem, this leads you to pace and time your attacks, wait for openings and opportunities and counterattack the enemy when they make a mistake as well. Everything is slowed down, but the consequences are a lot more dangerous and visceral, so the actual encounters tend to be sped up. It's a wonderful blend of extreme difficulty with realistic weapon weights and, re and feels that really isn't replicated anywhere else. Many mods attempt to create a combat overhaul similar to Requiem, but in truth it is a one-of-a-kind experience in the way it makes Skyrim combats feel, and every other mod in comparison makes you feel like you're swinging your weapon around in butter. Requiem combat is unparalleled in its execution and intensity. If Requiem isn't your thing and you don't feel like installing a complete overhaul, then the next best thing would be Wildcat. It is very similar to its counterpart, even the same mod author, Smilodon, both changing several mechanics of Skyrim's combat. Wildcat adds some very cool features including timed blocking, attacks of opportunity, staggering, improved AI and changes to the damage dealt and received in combat. These are all great and excellent features and opens up your Skyrim to a more dangerous and versatile combat system with a lot of new mechanics at play and you have to be aware of what they are and you have to play around them. They also overhaul the stamina cross for attacks in Wildcat but it still doesn't have the same feel as Requiem. Vigor is a great mod that can also be paired with this, which adds an excellent dynamic injury system. This adds weights to each strike as fatal blows can cause injuries which can impair and hinder you and your enemies for the remainder of the encounter. It's a great system and very well implemented for what it is. It can be a little annoying to deal with, but after some time, certain players will find it very rewarding and immersive to include this alongside of Wildcat. Violence is one of those must-have simple mods for dealing with kill moves in combat situations. Firelens lets you fully customize your kill move experience from removing them completely or having them trigger every time an enemy is killed. You can remove the restrictions around kill moves, allowing you to do them whilst not at the end of combat and while there are multiple enemies around you. You can set them to third or first person only and the mod even includes new kill moves for throat slitting and seated NPCs. All in all, it's a must-have mod that sits nicely in your load order and can give you full control over what you can and cannot do within kill moves. It can take out some of the aggravation and increase the fun in Skyrim combat. I thought it was also a good idea to include several mods that I do not recommend for a couple of different reasons. These include Deadly Combat, Locational Damage, Combat Evolved, TK Hit Stop, Dual Combat Realism, and a few more. The above mods all contain a lot of scripts, unnecessary edits, or a lot of changes that can cause incompatibilities with some of the other mods listed, or straight up cause issues with your Skyrim combat experience. Maybe you've had a good time with some of the following mods, but I usually tell people to stay away from them and pick from the other mods listed here and you'll have a much better Skyrim combat experience. That's not to say that they might work fine for you, but when installing mods, make sure you know exactly what they're changing, if they're altering AI or just mechanics and systems, and make sure there aren't any incompatibilities with other mods. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this gave you an idea of some of the mods you can try and install into your Skyrim load order in 2020 to help improve the combat. If you want more Skyrim content, I do stream every day on Twitch. Come on over, twitch.tv slash Balian, or keep it here on the YouTube for more stuff. Also, another quick shout out. I've started working with a company called Drown Audio. They make really good tactile headphones. Uh, they're brilliant for immersion, their whole sort of method and uh, Patterns technologies built around 360 degree immersion. I found them great for Skyrim. I have a discount code in the description or you can head to drownaudio.com and use code Balian if you want to check them out. Thank you very much guys. Have a great week. See you soon and I hope this helped.